KMSS Fox 33 wants to celebrate today's hero during Black History Month. Tonight we honor a Detroit native who now calls Shreveport home after dedicating his life to fighting to ensure African Americans are given the right to vote. LaFleur County, Mississippi is where Emmett Till was killed in 1955 during an act of racial hatred. It's the same place where Reverend Dr. Donald L. Tucker would call home and pastor a church he says was not too far from the funeral home where Till's body was taken. I had never been in the South. In the 60s it was a very hot, hot, hot time of segregation. An assignment from the African Methodist Episcopal Church placed a Detroit native at Turner AME Church in Greenwood, Mississippi. My parents, my mother, my brothers and my sisters were against it. And the majority of my colleagues said, Tucker, you must be crazy. Why would you go to Mississippi at a time like this? He quickly discovered why he was there. I realized after organizing and meeting and sharing is that my work went beyond these walls. Reverend Tucker became the first president of the NAACP in the Mississippi Delta and worked with slain civil rights leader Medgar Evers. I couldn't even sit in front of a door. I couldn't sit in front of a window. His life was threatened after he took the courageous steps of becoming the first person in Floor County to pass a literacy test to vote. And I just knew the Lord was on my side. After he secured his right to vote, law enforcement unleashed dogs on Tucker to detour others from attempting to do the same. I limped today from where that dog bit me. But today I say to the citizens all over the world, if you do not exercise the right of voting, shame, shame on us, for the vote is our answer. Something he advocates for to this day. And I still wake up this morning with my mind still stayed on freedom. Walking and talking with my mind stayed on freedom. Ain't no harm to keep your mind stayed on freedom. Dr. Tucker left Mississippi and relocated to an AME church in Bermuda due to death threats from the Ku Klux Klan. He finally returned to Mississippi in 2014 and is recognized in the Mississippi Civil Rights Museum for his contributions to the movement. And we want you to nominate that person you call a hero by going to arclatexhomepage.com and during the month of February each week we'll highlight that special hero on Thursday nights on Fox 33 News first at 9 and Friday morning on Fox 33 News. Good day. Thank you.